Groves, exam preparation questions part 6. Let's look at another example. Now, this is y is equal to 2 to the power of x. That's an exponential function. y equals 14 minus x squared is a quadratic function, a parable. Okay, so complete the table. That's nice, that's easy. I just do substitution. So it's 2 to the power x. Then if it's 2 to the power 0, that will be equal to 1. And then if it's 2 to the power of 4, that will be equal to 16. And then the next one, number C. Rather in green. Okay. Okay, so this is y is equal to 14 minus x squared. So that is going to be 14 minus 0 squared, and that's going to be 14. And then it's going to be y is equal to 14 minus, and that is going to be 4 squared. So that's going to be 14. 4 times 4 is 16, and that is going to be negative 2. Okay, so on the grid, draw the graphs of this from 0 to 4. Okay, so let's just make it bigger, and let's start by plotting the points. Okay, so I just want to maybe, let's see if it fits. Okay, so 0 and 1. So 0, let's just look at the, my scales. If this is 1 divided by 10, so it's um, so it's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. This is 2 divided by 5, so it's 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. No, it's going to be this one. It's going to be different. So this is going to be 2 divided by 5. It's 0 0.4. So this is 0 0.4, 0 0.8, then 1.2, 1.62. I always check it before I start. Okay. So then it's 0 and 1. So, oh, this is almost there because it's 0 0.4. So it's 0, no, it's 1 luckily is in the middle there. In the middle of that block, if I can just... Get it correct on my technology. In the middle. Okay. And then 1 and 2. That is easy. It's always marking a little bit higher than my hand. Okay. 1 and 2. And then 2 and 4. And then 3 and 8. Okay. And then 4 and 16. Okay. And then I'm drawing the line. Okay, and that is y is equal to 2 to the power of x. Okay, and then the same in this one. So it's 0 and 14. So it's there. And then 1 and 13. That's going to be in the middle there. And then 2 and 10. Going to be there. And then 3 and 5, it's going to be there. And then 4 and negative 2, it's going to be here. I'm just going to move up a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to just go and draw that curve. So it's just almost like half of the curve. So if I'm looking here... Okay, and that is going to be y is equal to 14 minus x 
square. Okay, so the next question, so after I draw the graphs, use your graphs to solve the equations. Okay, let's, uh, sorry, let's just bring it up. So it's 2 to the power x is equal to 12. So remember what I said, you're going to draw that line y is equal to 12. Now it's going to cut the y-axis and it's going to cut at 12. So let's just get that straight line. So you can draw that line in. And where it intersects, you're going to draw it down. So let's just see where it's going to go down. So let's rather re or use red for that. So that is actually very nice. So if I'm looking at that, so 2 to the power of x is equal, oh, oh, I see what's my mistake. Can you see? It's not to this graph, it's to the blue graph. So it's correct, I just, my red line was not correct. Do you see? Because it's to this graph. So it's going to be there. Okay. And that is going to be 3, um, I will say, 5, 5. So if I'm looking at this, let's just write C. Let's get the pen correct. C, I. So X is 3, 5, 5. 3, 5, 5. And if I look where, then I'm going to say, okay, let's just go and do that. Um, it's going to be between uh, what, what is an exams report or what they will mark correct from 3.5 to that's 0.5 to 3.7. Why are you there? Um, to 3.7. So that will be correct. Okay. Now, this is saying where is the, uh, let's just get the colors correct where the blue graph is intersecting with the green graph. And where will that be? Now, usually I'm, I use dotted lines. Um, I'll just get your lines so that there's not so much lines. So, But you can just use a ruler and just read it down. Okay. So basically, if I'm looking here, then it's going to be 2.8, uh, 2.75, but this is 2.8. Eight. So I will say the second one. So X is 2.8. And it's going to, they said in the exam report, 2.65 to 2.8. So, oh, I was on that end. Okay. So on the grid, draw the line from the point 0.42 that has a gradient of negative Four. Now, what you can do, I think it's best to first get the equation. Maybe it's a long way, but I'm just looking for a way that will help you. So let's look at number DE. So on the grid, uh, the gradient is 4, so I can already negative 4. But I want to, to um, you can go with the up and the downs, but I rather want to find the equation in the table and to maybe do the long way, but make sure that I'm correct. So I'm taking the point. 4 and 2, and I'm putting it in. So in the place of y, I put a 2. In the place of x, I put a 4. So 2 is equal to negative 16 plus c. So c is 2 plus 16. So the value of c will be 18. So therefore, my graph, my equation will be y is equal to negative 4x plus 18. Now, if you want, because they said from this point, um, on the grid, draw the line from the point. So let's just check to see. I want you to show you that this point. So if you put 4, let's just check if I put 4, if it's going to. So if it's negative 4, 4 plus 18, I just want to show you you are getting that too. So it's negative 16 plus 18, and that will be 2. Do you see that? So because they want you to draw, always read very carefully, 2. Okay, so it's, now it's 4 and 2. Now I think the best will be 
if I take an one closer, so let's take the one two. I'm going to bit down. So if I'm doing that one, so it's y is equal to negative four two plus eighteen. I'm trying to let it fit in my graph. So this is negative eight plus eighteen, and that will be ten. Okay, so that one will be ten. So let's just go, 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 and we're going to draw that line. And now, as I said, there's too many lines at this stage, but it's fine. So 4 and 2, 4 and 2, I'm going to make it red. That's why it's better to make it broken lines or just to use, and, and let me quickly make it a broken line because, as I said, I, I don't like, um, you can use lines, but don't make it solid. You will see in my examples, I also make it broken. Okay, so now I can make that one 4 and 2. 4 and 2. And 2 and 10. 2 and 10. And now um, I'm, I'm just going to take a ruler rather to put it nice on because I want to make that line uh, a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. So let's just use my ruler. I just want to get rid of that faster this time. Okay. So it's going to be 2 and 10. 4 and 2. It's going better. So put that line on that two points. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just drawing the line. A bit far, a little bit closer with it. Mm, let's see if I can see it there. Okay. Okay, I think I can see it. Can you see, see the line there? Okay, now the question was, um, on the grid, draw the line. Now, can you see what this red line is doing to the green line? Can you see it's a tangent? Can you see the touching point will be 2 and 10? So, complete the statement. The straight line is a what? What are we calling that? A tangent to the graph of this at the point. There was your point, uh, 2 and 10. Okay, very interesting way of doing that question. And I think that was the end of this question. So that was the end of question number two. A final note. Most of the videos on this channel feature examples from the Y equals MX plus C to success mathematics books. Try your best to purchase your own hard copy from one of the following bookshops. This will enable you to highlight and make personal notes in your own textbook. And remember, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Best of luck.